Hi, Matt Keller Ogden here. Today I wanted to show you a little bit about how to manage your site if you're set up on WordPress. Let's get into it. So here I am uh, on a WordPress site that I just set up for us. Um, I'm actually already logged in on the back end. So this is as straightforward as it comes, the default theme with WordPress um, and whatnot. So if you're on the front end of your site and you want to get to the back end, you can go to WP dash admin. So in the location bar we've added um, slash WP dash admin. If you're not already logged in as an administrator it will give you a little login box to enter your username and password. After you've done that this is the page you'll land on. As I said I'm already logged in so here we are. Okay, editing posts and pages. Uh, very very similar topics so we're just going to edit a post and then I'll show you how to get to the pages section, but it's, editing a page is essentially the same thing. So under posts, we can click on posts and it lists out all of the posts that we have. As you see, there's only one right now, the default one that uh, WordPress comes loaded with, a hello world post. Um, we have this button up here for add new post. And also over in the sidebar, there's an add new link. Those do the same things, two different ways to do the same thing. And if we go back to the dashboard, so say you've just logged in and you land on your dashboard here, you can actually go to this uh, quick links uh, drop down box up here and click directly on new post to create a new post. Um, there's also a number of other options under the drop down, but what we want to do right now is create a new post. So I'm going to do that. And here we are. To add a new post, all you got to do is give it a title and fill in some content. Once you've done that, you can save it as a draft, which means that it's saved on the back end. So if you're logged in as an administrator, you can view this post. But nobody on the public end of things will see this post. Just you. To view it on the site, you can use Preview. It'll open a new tab. And there we have it. You can see down here that this is our new post and there's the content that we entered. If I close that tab, go back to the back end. Let's say we wanted to add an image. I'm going to hit return and right here we have this upload insert area and there are a number of different icons. If you hover over them it'll give you a little tip to let you know what each one does. We'd like to add an image, so I'm going to click on the image icon. Brings up a dialog that allows us to add images in three different ways. We either can select an image that's on our computer and upload it, which is this tab, or we can input a URL of an image that we know on another website, or we can pick something that's in our media library. This is a fresh WordPress install, so our media library is currently empty. I'm going to go ahead and select an image from my computer. Let's go get a wallpaper image. Nice big image. The same one that I'm using on my desktop right now. That's Roan, one of my cats. I have three cats. And as you see, this is a quite large image. Uh, the dimensions are 1920 by 1200 desktop size. We obviously don't want the image to show up that large in our post. So what I can do uh, down in these settings is it gives me alignment options and size options. I'm just going to leave the alignment alone because I just want it to show up underneath the text that I put it put there. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, select, leave this medium selected as well. I could have a large image or a thumbnail, or I could put it in full size, but as, as you know, that image is huge, so we really don't want to do that. So I'll leave medium checked for now. I'm going to give it a different title. Oh, sleeping in chair. Uh, you have the option to give it alternate text, 
I'm going to give the alternate text the same as the title in this case by copying and pasting. Um, and you have the option to give it a caption. Again, I'm going to use the same as the title for the caption. The description uh, just helps you in the media library um, understand some context for the image. In this case, I'm going to leave that blank. A link is provided. If you want to save that link so that you always know where the image is, you can. Um, but we won't, we won't need to do that this time. So, uh, And then you can either save changes, which will bring you back to selecting another image, or you can go ahead at this point and click the Insert into Post button, which is what I'm going to do now. And there we have it. Uh, let's preview our page. There's our post, our title, our content, and the image that we inserted. We'll save this as a draft. And somebody could come along to, and uh, make changes, and when it's finalized, they could post it. And when it's finalized, we could go ahead and publish it, which I will do right now. So now that, that would be public if this blog were uh, public facing. Let's look at a couple other things before we move on from posts. And that would be categories and tags. In general, I like to think of categories and tags as very similar things, uh, but I would put a post into one category usually, whereas I might have many different tags. Tags are like attributes, whereas category is like a bucket. Uh, if that makes any sense. I'm going to uncheck the uncategorized category, um, which is next to useless as far as I'm concerned, and I'm going to give this a category of example. Examples. So we will add that category, and now we have that. And in the post tags, I'm going to do something descriptive. I'll put in examples again, example, and then I'll put in cat, and I'll, maybe I'll put in photo, um, and maybe I'll even put in black and white, okay? And then, as you can see, it's added these four tags, and each one has an X if I want to remove one of these. I think I'm going to remove black and white. I don't really need that in there. Okay. So, if I now click on the Update button, I go to preview our changes, we'll see that this line here, this entry was posted in examples and tagged cat example photo. That's useful later um, when somebody's navigating the site over here in the sidebar, they now have this examples category so they can get a list of all of the posts that are in the examples category. Right now we just have this one post in that category, so our page shows just this. Let's close this, go back to our back end, and go over to Pages. Pages is very, very similar to Posts. The Posts will go to your blog, whereas a page is just a static content page. Um, posts are for news and updates and, and those types of things, whereas Pages are to serve a uh, purpose of providing some information um, on your on your website in like an about page or a services page or, or something that's not quite as dynamic um, it works in much the same way uh, we can click add new here give our page a title give it some content again we could add an image if we wanted um, we've already reviewed that, so we will skip that part. But let's look at a little formatting options. If we want to select some text, we can make it bold by clicking the B. We can make it italic by clicking the I. And we have any number of options. Let's uh, make an example list. Um, first, I'm going to make a heading for our list to say what it is. I'll select that text and I will make it bold, and then on the next line, I will unbold it, and I'm going to make a list. This is a list item, and let's just copy that a couple times. 
Now if I select these list items that I just created and click the bullets, it transforms it into a nice bulleted list for us. I'm going to go ahead and I'm not even going to bother with a draft. I'll go straight to publish. I don't need to preview this this time. And let's do view page. You can do preview changes over here if you're still working on the page or if you have the page published you can view the live, live page with this link. Click view page, it opens in a new tab and here's our page. And there's our formatted content with the uh, title, the content where I bolded and italicized the word new, and then our example list, nicely bulleted. Next let's look at widgets. Uh, widgets are an easy way that you can manage your sidebar. You'll find them under the appearances under the appearances uh, sidebar here. Go to widgets and you'll see that we have this widget area. Now uh, I can drag these around to reorder them or I can take them off and move them to the inactive widgets area down here if I want to keep my settings, uh, maybe use these again in the future. Or I can entirely delete them um, by uh, just moving them off uh, and, dro and dropping them in any area except for the inactive widgets area. And I'll just get rid of it entirely. So I've made some changes there. Let's go back over to the site and hit refresh. And you'll notice that our sidebar uh, has just shrunk. The calendar has been removed and uh, the, the number of things that we see here is, has been changed. So let's add them back in just to demonstrate. There's the calendar and we'll put it right underneath the search bar and we'll go back over to our site and refresh and there's the calendar. So as you can see widgets is a very simple way to drag and drop and to manage uh, some basic navigation components and informational components. Let's say I wanted to add a small callout uh, with some text. I could take this text widget and drag it in, put it wherever I want. I think I'll put it under search. I'll give it a title and say uh, this is a call out. This is a sample of how to add some text to your sidebar. You will check off automatically add paragraphs, uh, which you don't really need to understand that right now, but it's usually a good idea to check that little box. It helps with the formatting of everything. And we'll click Save. You can collapse these and expand them for additional settings on any one of them. Let's go back over to our site now that we have that saved. <coughs> Excuse me. If I refresh, you'll see right under the search box now we have this callout. Uh, so great easy way to manage everything uh, related to your site in, in the sidebar area widgets extremely useful that's about all we have time for in this video so uh, thanks for watching and i'll give you more in-depth tutorial next time